Hi everyone, welcome to a special Patrao episode. We are back with a volume 2 this time. For those who are tuning in for the first time and not familiar with Patrao, Patrao means in in English it means boss. It's same like patron and patron is uh, uh taken from the Portuguese of course, but we use it in Konkani as well. So Patrao is uh, the Patrao episode is all about uh chilling it chilling out with our friends basically having a close banter. and and with with me as always is my homie neel neel bab junior <laughs> patrao junior <laughs> patrao junior yeah yeah you could say patrao junior so you're yeah. patrao senior and i'm patrao junior hey come on <laughs> <laughs> just because my hair is thinning <laughs> you can't call me patrao senior so yeah today is like a special episode uh, yeah. with a close friend uh, lester bab we would like to call him lester gracious from uh, kansauli and he's been emceeing for now around 35 years and he's also involved in organizing events so i th- i think it's a good i i mean i always wanted to get into the dances and things like that yes so, yeah. yeah so so what i'm looking forward to is exactly what you're saying is about getting to learn today a lot from lester we you and i have had conversations yeah, about a that a lot a lot not yeah. to put pressure on lester a little bit but you and uh, carry and i've had conversation where we said that Uh, a conversation with Lester is definitely going to be uh, very knowledgeable, very learning, yeah. and something which we can really, really enjoy. So I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, he's a wealth of Goan information. I Correct. Would say, a yeah. True Goan patriot, I would say. So, so welcome to the show, Lester Bob. <laughs> Thanks a lot guys for inviting me for your your session. As Anton okay. would say, "Zaite manzal mure." So so yeah, welcome to the show. Yeah. And uh, so Lester, I wanted to start with uh, MCing. We never had this conversation. How did you first start? Like when did that happen? It happened uh, in 1989. I was having a casual visit with uh, at one of my cousin's house and uh, this was which year would you this say this was in 89 ah 89 89, 89. and uh, as we were chatting he just came up with a thing saying that uh, lest uh, one of my friend is getting married would you like to mc a function okay, ah, okay. and uh, for that i told him i really don't know i've never done it okay because i used to practice drums at home and i always wanted to be a drummer wow oh wow, okay interesting and i took it up as a challenge And he was uh, a drummer boy. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was wanting. I'm like you. I was wanting to be a drummer boy. But sorry, okay, go okay, ahead. Carry on. Okay. Yeah. I took it as a challenge, and I told Caesar that I would do it for him, and I would MC his friend's wedding. The first yeah. wedding was in Mumbai's. Oh, okay. Okay. Mumbai, Mumbai Hotel. hotel ah, in Mumbai. Oh my god! Oh my god! And. Uh, Is it you must have, was it like were you like nervous at the like was was like your no, first time No no because what uh, the real thing what got into me was uh, I had done my public speaking course when I was in 7th standard Oh my god yeah okay okay uh, it was under the guidance of uh, so Joe Crasto Oh ah, okay and uh, that's uh, that's what gave me confidence to do all this Yeah okay. And after the first show then I got another three four weddings from that wedding and and the rest was history. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well you got the voice for it, yeah. I mean I the definitely he's got the voice for uh, yeah, to be yeah, a, yeah. Th- I've so. seen Lester. Uh, I mean to be honest I've not experienced him in the dances like uh, back in the day. Okay. Uh but most recently I've seen him and uh, yeah he, the confidence and the way he handles Mm. uh you know the stage and the event is fantastic so yeah. and we've done an event also to, for those who not know we've done an event together where we brought uh, Remo and Lorna to Dubai mm. so that's how i got to know Lester in depth i would say okay uh, the guy that the man behind <laughs> the face <laughs> so <laughs> coming back to the dances uh Lester i we had this conversation long back i wanted to ask you okay you emceed the dances weddings and corporate events some guess yes yes and, very much uh, now i've always been curious and neel and i always have this conversation like i've seen the dances in goa you could never see this in any other state in india no. right no and uh, how did it first start in your uh, i mean could you explain like do you have any knowledge about that like how what was the origin no the origin dances came from the folk dances 
like goa used to be known for the for its folk dances from there okay. during the portuguese time right. a lot of people had this portuguese houses right mm. yeah and then they used to for a feast or any other gathering they used to uh gather at home and uh, they had uh, big halls those days yeah. still yeah. which you yeah. have yes yeah. yes and they used to hire a band <clears throat> and uh, start with the show yeah from then on in the 1980 in the 80s uh, the clubs in goa started it okay the, okay every village had a club and so first it was kind of like a private it was party. Yeah, it was I always think a, a private a, private affairs aristocrats and yes. things like that yes. yeah, yeah, yeah and it's only mostly in this portuguese houses yeah where they used to have all these weddings or get togethers uh, for any occasions yeah like we you would see like maybe the elite families things like that very much they would have a very know, private kind of party and like, and, yes. and rightly said you see these old houses they have like large mm. uh, living rooms uh, mm. like it's almost like a ballroom yeah. i would say so uh, yeah and then it went to the clubs yes like in the portuguese time there was uh, <clears throat> a very famous band called johnson and his jolly boys where most okay. of the people used to take uh, take them as their uh, as a band uh, for the occasions okay, okay which okay. Uh, later on when uh, india took over uh, okay. or the indian government took over right. that we started following the indian way in wherein uh, we had some beautiful bands in the 80s and 90s like symphony hmm. sting uh, syndicate yeah. yeah yeah then big city band music man music big man. city band which right. were the lead bands of those years Yeah, 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 yeah. Big city band is still there. Yeah, I yeah. think they are the only one right now. They are no? the Which only surviving. Yeah, but syndicate are there, but not with the original members. Uh, though big city band also not with the original members, but uh, the yes, name is taken. The name is still there. Okay, okay. The legacy remains. So uh, this is so the eighties. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So that's the, the late eighties, so... uh, early nineties. Okay. That's interesting. So, so before that, like places like I remember, like Club Harmonia and all these places. That means they didn't have any dances, commercial dances, at least before that, right? Uh, mostly, it was uh, the Christmas dance. Okay. Which, But uh, it's only Club with Harmonia. the members. Yeah. Okay. Club As Harmonia was, and uh, BPS and Margo. Yeah. yeah. So, which they still do till date. Yes. And I think and I in, don't know. Uh, and in Panjim, it was Club Gaspard the Ursh Club yeah. uh, Nas- uh, Nacional. Nacional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this this were the clubs which people uh, often used to visit uh, for all the shows. Yeah, of course. Now I think Club Harmonia is open to everyone. I guess I I don't know. No, is it, it is no? not. It's still no members only. Uh, we are a member of it. Oh okay, okay. all right. Yeah. I thought it was like only the Margao uh, No, it's it's a uh, crowd. No, it's only like uh, if your father was a member. Okay. And uh, now, it is it didn't matter mm, which village you were from or No, it it didn't matter that okay. way, but okay. uh, if your father was a member, then after his that you would get the membership. Okay. Ah, okay, so okay. It's kind of passed down passed in a way. Passed down to the generation. Oh, interesting. Okay, oh, okay, I didn't know that. That's, that's interesting. If, yeah. Is it? It's the same with BPS club as well. Yes. Ah, okay. Only they will not allow anyone. No. As such, they're no. very particular about very who particular they allow. Very particular who it is from where you come and uh, oh, who you good. are. Oh, that's good. Till data. Like yeah. It's like the gymkhana concept, right? I mean, yes, that's very it's, much. It's, uh, you pass very it down. Much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, would you say like? Uh, nowadays i i've i've not gone in for a dance in a long time uh, lester so uh, have you gone recently like have you uh, yes uh, in april when i was down for a short while we went for this uh, indo portuguese night okay, okay. which was mm-hmm. held at caserval and i felt uh, i was uh, taken 35 back. 35 years younger when i visited <laughs> that place yeah. and right. because I found the same old people which was wonderful I met friends uh, who I made through amsing and comparing those years right yeah and it was very well organized uh, giving it a portuguese look with portuguese food that oh. was something wonderful which uh, they stuck to their theme okay, okay. that okay. was the beauty of the show all right and all it right. had all the elite people from margao and from panjim oh and uh, nice. it was great to see all of them 
even yeah. uh, what about the band uh, it who was, was playing archies archies yeah and they played like good wonderful portuguese numbers okay ah. okay i i think you don't see that nowadays huh? i mean it's changing no way today uh, kerry and neil thinks uh, have taken a little uh, i don't know uh, what what i what should i say mm. it's uh, like today it's more of the club and the pub uh, pub culture in goa Okay. Right. Yeah, During yeah. our days, it was every village had a fist dance. Yes. yes. Yeah. And these fist dances used to go on till seven thirty, eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, is, it, is it the same? Is it the same as the beat show? They would call no, it the beat, beat show. Was different. different. Beat yeah. show used to start somewhere around uh, five o'clock or so, and uh, okay. get over by twelve, twelve thirty. Okay. And okay. this was done in uh, certain villages like uh, Benaulim, Kolwa, right. where they had most of uh, like the Welsau Night of the Babes, the yeah, beach show, the come, uh, the... come the dance. Right, right, right. So the beach show concept was only for some years. That died but, down. Uh, yes. Okay. The beach show, it was, uh, to, to tell you the fact, it was... It was a bit too, a, a bit rowdy yeah, at rowdy the time. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. There, there used to be a little bit of violence here yeah, and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember so, that. Nobody so, would go there. If you yes. told them that I'm going to the beach, show, no, no, they're not coming with you. And due, to, and thing, due yeah. to that, uh, like, uh, you wouldn't find uh, the elite crowd there. Yeah, it was like not cultured crowd. No, it was way. not a cultured crowd. And uh, there used to be a lot of threats even to the MCs and uh, oh. whoever was uh, Have you ever MCed? Show. Like a beach show? Yeah, a lot. Okay, and was it like really dangerous, like you said? Uh, it's, it's sometimes, not always. Okay, okay. It depends uh, from place to place. Ah, okay. Like okay. I'll give you one instance where uh, I was doing. I will not name the village, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I was okay. doing. I am. Uh, I was uh, comparing a show. Right. And there were two local bands which were there, and they always wanted to prioritize themselves. Okay. Like I want to be first. I want to be second. Okay. So okay. then. As the beach show was going on, and they they were supposed to be second and third, I don't know. A group of guys came uh, running to the stage, and they told me, "Lester, if you don't put us on top, we'll see that we stop the beach show." Oops. To which, in this commotion, my brother saw that there were some guys coming with beer bottles and all to attack oh my me. God. I guessed as much. You know, so, just... my brother, <laughs> so my brother came on the stage and he said, you'll just touch my brother here and I'll see that I finish all of you. Okay. Though my brother was not a gunda or something, <laughs> but it was... Uh, but he all... had your back. Yes. Yeah, that's good. I always had his back. Yeah. And uh, yes, yeah. it, uh, it happened uh, and it happened on two or three occasions, but otherwise it was... Uh, most of uh, most of it were normal yeah we touched this you know in a previous episode with uh, another uh, when we were talking about the dances we touched about the fact that has it changed and i like the fact that you mentioned that you enjoy the indo portuguese portuguese numbers and i think Carrie and i always felt that or we feel right now and you're the right person to ask has have we moved from a goa to a bollywood music very uh, much i agree with you is this i mean is this now even our go and weddings are they are they very there much a demand for bollywood you, music yes because uh, let me give you the dis- uh, difference is uh, during our time when we used to mc and all we always uh, used to have bollywood music to start with mm. to be followed by a cha 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 and then uh, go on to the fast music and yeah. Yeah. jive and everything jive, was yeah, yeah. and then a little bit of all bollywood maybe one or two numbers maximum mm. yeah uh and uh yes there was a mixture of music okay and but i think it was more on the english or it portuguese was more on the, yes it was uh, more like on a, the english and every dance had uh <clears throat> two or three bands okay sometimes there were three sometimes there were two but uh, always yes one, uh two or three bands okay. and it was a pleasure to compare a show with this bands because uh, those days the band had to listen to the compares to what music it should be i'll give you an instance uh, what happened to me once it was for night of the goats that was a very famous dance in lotali which i used to do for 6 7 years early morning at around 5 o'clock when music men were doing their last uh, last uh, song or song set, yeah. 
some guys from my own village came and they said no we want some rock music okay mm. and uh, <clears throat> i was in a situation suddenly they started with the uh, the fast one i just put my left hand on one of the band members guitar and i told him you will listen to what i say mm. not to, to these people yeah. because i saw a lot of people early morning it's always the ballroom dance and mm. a lot of people were dancing ballroom oh. suddenly this uh, some villagers came and they said no mm. but uh, i didn't let the band change the the sequence of the music okay. it had to be bollywood okay. after the dance the same villagers came to me and they said lester what is this you know us i told them i'm paid for this show yeah so i will do what i feel is right yeah is the reason you are the master right for the ceremony you yeah know, you, you have <laughs> yeah. to be you have to Hence be the uh, yeah, exactly. master yeah. of ceremonies yeah. Yeah. yeah but i i just thought of you know our previous patra episode hmm. where we discussed about navy ball now yes. that was like a prestigious uh, very much dance it, it to was be. always on somewhere in uh, on the november 5th or in between november 5th and 11th of every year i vaguely remember because like really young oh, it was time. one of the prestigious dance Yeah. along with another dance called the CAC dance in Gonzalem okay. which was held for around yeah. 38 years that was during three kings was it yes and for the three kings yeah, yes. yes three kings yes. 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 a very three famous kings. dance which used to start at 9 o'clock and get over only at around 8 o'clock or so the next morning wow <laughs> and always sold out always yeah. sold out yeah. and what about the navy ball like what memories you have it was Uh, it was one of the well organized dances okay a lit crowd but most of all uh, most of them were from the navy most of them but yeah. you could get but in right yes, you could yes yeah. and uh, we could get in but oh. uh, it was one of the wonderful dances that that i have attended okay unfortunately i never got to mc it ah oh, okay really? <laughs> all right okay ah. okay but Man. they did have an mc and all that right oh uh, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. they used to always get the mcs from uh, mumbai or okay yeah and and is it as is it still going on or is it no. stopped navy ball has stopped i think in fact uh, i'm not aware myself because ah. i've been here for years yeah 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 true 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 ah, but yeah. uh, as of uh, yes with the knowledge that i have it's not there anymore and uh, now now that he he mentioned about uh, cac no uh, i just want to tell you kerry now the dances what you find is only for christmas yeah. new year like uh, given to given the red the and example, black yeah the red and black is Carnival. still there but uh, now it's held at the samba, samba square. square it's not a dance yeah. it's more like uh, how concert. you have a concert yeah yeah and the, the da- dance concept is not there like maybe 8 or 10 years back the last uh, red and dance was the last one which happened in panjab was emceed by me oh with okay. four bands and, and that was a proper that dance that was the last street dance Okay 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 in so, front of club national so now you're saying it's only christmas and new year you would find a yes okay if people want to experience it and that's the only last that we got <laughs> in yes, the sense because now yeah. with the uh-huh. new government restriction carry like even the weddings mm yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to stop at ma- 10 or 11 uh, 10 o'clock 10 o'clock <laughs> right right Whoa. even a village <laughs> wedding sad. you have to stop because of the sound restrictions Yeah indeed but i think good to see that at least uh, dances are happening in the goan diasporas like canada and uk uh, i'm guessing yes. have you, yeah, yes. you seen like like in yeah. canada that it happens and then in uk i see a lot of I, this i have seen this tradition what we used to have in goa is now started in uk where they have a lot of this feast dances okay, okay. Uh, yeah. which is wonderful yeah yeah, yeah. and there are a lot okay. of our goan band boys who are placed in uk now Okay. And they've got their own bands, and they are really doing well. Yeah, in fact, okay. the feast dances also have stopped, mm. right? Or in, in Goa, I'm saying Goa, everything has stopped. That's what I'm telling you. If you go today, it's more of the club and the pub uh, yes. culture, yeah, mm. which has taken over the dances. You, okay. you, do you think it's also because of the youth that they've changed, and now they don't find this it? is a different generation, uh, Gary, <laughs> yeah, compared yeah. to our generation. Yeah, yeah. where we we had guys who only were waiting for this feasts or some occasion to go for the dance yeah. or you would never 
to 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 take their girlfriends out or yeah. that was the only thing otherwise the second option they had was only the beach okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or even the month baby <laughs> yeah all the month all the month was not for dancing yeah yeah <laughs> no i think he said take a girlfriend right ah, to the okay, beach yeah. and the month so yeah, we like that's a different episode huh? what you did on the month but anyway <laughs> but would you have dj's for the dances yeah no no way those years uh, there were no dj's at all. It, it it was only with live bands It was, and it was only with bands there were no solo singers also someone yeah. between the sets like a no. dj and all no. it was because unheard they, of they used to be carry a gap of only 5 minutes when i oh, was a mc okay. i used to give a gap only of 5 minutes right which uh, which a band had hmm. okay so before the uh, previous band could uh, go down the next band was ready on the stage yeah because so- dances were organized neil for people uh, people to enjoy yeah like for a mc yes i can keep on talking if i want i can keep on talking but people are not come here to listen to me yeah of course yeah they come for the they, they were they come for the entertainment entertainment and yeah. to dance yeah so my job was announce give the prizes do a little bit of competition here and there and go off the stage yeah the rest was on the bands so just a small history lesson for us um the good old days uh a dance was approximately how many hours from 10 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning Very so, good. so that's eight hours eight eight to 10 hours to be hours. precise eight to 10 hours eight to 10 hours yeah. and you would have like about two bands two bands minimum two yeah so each and then each band doing about what five sets or six sets uh four sets each four sets and that each set is for how long Uh, it used to depend 35 minutes to 45 minutes 35 yeah yeah, yeah. And, and then in the middle it was so it was a set a 5 minute break and then yes. set and five the so you five literally the 5 minute break was only for the refreshment for refreshment so it was literally you were literally dancing from 10 pm till 5 am 6 am in the morning yes and, and you could see the floor always full yeah that's 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 fun that's yeah. that's a party i mean know? i yeah uh, i remember those days i used to go to uh, emerald lawns yeah. para for the christmas snowball which was the famous at the time and the best like people from margaon would go all the way there and then of course i fast forward my friend started organizing uh clifford uh, mm. you remember in shishini somewhere he did a dance and and then like like basically you would go where all the friends are going in so fact th- in fact uh, i was <clears throat> involved in your shishini dance also i am okay. it for okay. three years your oh. shishini feast dance okay okay okay, okay. so you are the you're the only person who can tell us all of carrie's girlfriends for the dances huh? no that time we didn't know each other <laughs> so i just have been a kid of neil those years <laughs> <laughs> he was a seen my brothers that, that's about it he's a kid is nevia creve but less about uh, i mean where do you see this going now the the dances do you think it's going to really die down and i feel it's dying down carry mm-hmm. compared to before it's uh, for me i feel it's become too commercialized like during our days uh, dances were organized uh, and something was given back either to the church or to the needy by this clubs mm. or they had their own football teams where they used to invest this money on that yeah. but uh, today i don't know how much of uh, it is going back to the people yeah taking back i mean coming back to i just remembered uh, the interview i had with uh, nick dilema from nairobi and uh, it was not in our episode but he said that goans are there to party but yes. when it comes to helping they are not there is so, this true would you say uh yes i always say we do all this goa days and uh, the goa day uh, yeah the I world just, goa day yeah. and all that i really Events. don't know yeah. what goes back to goa mm. number one and how many people uh, people uh, get anything out of it right. like uh, i'll give you an example we do this covid time a lot of our goans were in trouble Yes. Mm. How much did we give back to this goans? Mm. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It's not the when it's not I mean I, I've culture. seen some associations here uh, in today Dubai. Today it's commercialized but... and it's become a business rather than uh, giving it back to the people of Goa. Mm. Sure. What what would you say like what one should do uh, your advice would be less to my, my advice we... my advice to our goans would be do something for Goa. because we come from a place 
where we grew up, we have come to a different land. Yes, we can organize a lot of things. Yeah. We know that there are some of our goons who are having hardships here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's do something for them. Let's organize all these big shows. Let's do dances. And we give something back to the goons. Okay. Not yeah. only uh, making it uh, commercialized or something else. Right. This is I, my only advice. I think I think what's important is that yeah, you organize an event, you do something for the goons, and then go give back to the goons and be transparent about it. I think that's most very important. Very You've been involved with the Don yes. Bosco School. Uh, and another thing what I want to say is, uh, you know, it's sad. I'm in this land, by, but I always see there are two, three San Juan dancers two, three carnival dancers. Mm. My advice to these organizers, get together, mm. have a dance, get the best of people, let the people enjoy it, rather than dividing the crowd. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, uh, in fact, I went for an event uh, last weekend. It was organized uh, by this uh, Italian choir, and uh, there were like 20 in that choir. Mm. And uh, it was held in an Italian restaurant. And part of the charity went to this uh, foundation where they help kids and, you know, families who cannot afford, mm. say, a birthday gift or birthday thing. This is the mm. reason, mm. Kerry, yeah, I saying, said, yeah, yeah. give it back to the people. Mm. I mean, in, in UAE itself, yeah. there must be goans who yes. need help. Like those years, as I told you. Yeah. We used to, I'll give an example of uh, what happened to me one day. I was comparing a dance in Agasai, and it was a Easter dance. And I knew the, the th uh, prophets would go to the church. So as the dance got over, I took my payment. I will not tell you how much it was, <laughs> because it was a very low payment those years. And I gave it uh, to Father Roman. Okay. I, I have to tell you his name not knowing that this gentleman announced my name during the sermon. Oh, wow. Saying that uh, being a young guy, this uh, this man has donated money to the church, mm. and uh, which he was proud of. Yeah. After the mass was over and when someone told me, I, I asked him, Father, why did you do that? I yeah. just gave it to you as a well-wisher. I didn't want to become famous yeah. because of this... Uh, because of uh, this money, what I donated to the church. And he said, no, Lester, you are one of the hundred who has done it. Yeah. It's a minority, yes. unfortunately, but yes. it's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we don't see that. I've seen it with other communities, how they help each other beat the Malayalis or the Gujaratis, or at least they do something. Mm. But, uh, no, when I used to yeah. MC shows uh, during my days, I never charged for, a, after that, I never charged for a church dance. Mm. And for charity shows. Okay. <clears throat> That's because good. I wanted to give it back to the people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, coming back to now Goa, you said you went to Goa recently. Uh, I don't know how often you go, uh, like I once, go twice, maybe a year. twice a year. Twice a Sometimes year. Sometimes thrice. And uh, how would you say the difference now compared to when you were living in Goa? Like, is it. It's or the not worst, the, or it's, the it's not the Goa of what I lived for my youth. You don't days. recognize it anymore. No, or? I don't. Okay. So, what do you miss about Goa? I mean, what do you miss about? I we we ask this to all our guests, saying, "What do you?" We obviously understand that there's a huge change that's happening in the in the state. But what do you miss most about the good old days of Goa? During our days, uh, like uh, every evening when we walk from our office work. We used to meet in Margao near Mali's, which was a very famous yeah, yeah, thing yeah. in the oh, south. Yeah, 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 Mali's. <laughs> and then uh, uh, just hang out for two, three, four hours. And uh, wherever, if we knew there was a show, we used to rush there. Yeah. There was and, no Sheetal or something or uh, in Margao? We're not naming your ex-girlfriends, yes. No, no, no. It was <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Food affair was there. Yeah, then. food affair was Galen's was there. <laughs> No, no, but uh, Mali's, uh, that same lane. No, there was, Shital was uh, way on top of Kamath, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Because a lot of, I mean, if I'm not my mistaken. brother's time and they used to yeah, hang Goal's out. Yeah, Goa not the same word, yeah. uh, what you used to find it. Today, if you go to Margao, the Margao Garden, uh, you'll see a lot of... Uh, immigrants, like sort of. Immigrants uh, and drunkards uh, sitting there, which is uh, spoiling the image of Goa. Mm. And I wouldn't be happy to see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
even the crime rate is also yeah, kind because of when i'm in dubai i promote uh, goa as one of the tourist destination yeah but some of my friends when they go and see this they say lester this is uh, this is not this is the tourism you're talking about yeah. yeah this is not the right tourism no, i mean even i i get embarrassment to tell my friends uh, mm. you know in fact funny enough a friend of mine she wanted to go uh for a break because she lost mm. her job and uh, my friend's girlfriend and she has asthma uh, issue as well and i said that i i think you should not go now because it's humid right now mm. and also i don't know i'm scared that she might get fleeced by But, the uh, taxi nil he talks only of girls yeah, and girlfriends know, yeah <laughs> <laughs> we all zone today, today. Yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> a lot of your ex girlfriends are coming up today we, we got to have episode on going women actually <laughs> no, no no there's one occasions where we both will be going yeah. and it will be held on the shishini ground <laughs> with two or three bands let's <laughs> talk and, 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 and i have volunteered to mc that for free <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know the date and time. <laughs> Can't live with them. Can't uh, live without them. Let's yeah. call it the event of the century. Yeah. Huh? Oh yes, very much. <laughs> where where Kelly will be involved? Yeah. Oh, they, uh, I'm telling you, you, but you better give us advance notice. I, mean, I don't care. I even if I, even if I have to leave the job, I'll leave my It'll job. Come my on, friend. Herald. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the go on and the Herald. <laughs> you might announce it on yeah. the podcast. Right? <laughs> no, no, I, I told him, Neil, the MC will be free. Hmm. I'll sponsor the band. Yeah. You only book Just the come. ground. Yeah. That's it. And <laughs> and book the bride. That yeah. reminds me when uh, you know all all these there are you know there's this auntie in the village and uh, I'd gone to the chapel. I think there was the Saint Sebastian uh, feast and she was there baba when you're getting married kazar kaisan jata. I said uh, auntie it's in the pipeline. She's hmm. saying oh it must be long pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's like either the oil or the gas pipeline. Ah we. Who is the pipeline? It too boys. But uh, yeah coming to Goa yeah I, I understand what no, you say. If you saying. ask me in Goa carry like uh, would you okay would you go back retire and Yes. Okay. That's where I come from. Mm. and uh, i would be glad uh, to go back okay. and i would be glad again to mc uh, or compare shows okay. like the last i did was last year in uh, welsa okay. you wouldn't be interested to go to london no <laughs> <laughs> okay. i don't like the weather and i don't uh, i don't like that place okay okay, okay. for okay. me like i was telling you the last show i did was in welsa where there was a yeah, it was more of a beach one. show yeah with around 10000 people wow yeah massive i was shocked myself okay and it was supposed to be held this year too and i was invited to compare but uh, unfortunately uh, due to the election uh, court conduct okay yeah uh, there are no events right? no there are no events happening in goa Okay, okay okay exception of the government e- events like the keju festival event which is going oh, on right yeah, now oh yeah yeah right you're exactly so you're you correct. find <clears throat> only these events like uh, actually i don't know what what is the reason why would they stop i, I mean i don't the know the wine fest the keju fest and they've started coming uh, coming out with these shows rather than the dances which used to happen uh, yesterday years okay yeah i i mean It's a nice thing what they started. I mean, I saw the videos, mm. Casu uh, Festival, where they're promoting Fanny and all. Yeah. But I find it weird that they've stopped these events like dances, and I, I don't see what is wrong in stopping it. Could it could, it could it be a commercial thing? Uh, no, it's more of the <clears throat> government rule where the sound has been restricted after ten o'clock, or even for a dance which is there till twelve o'clock. Okay so people though, are just... we, though we have uh, so many open air uh, venues now yeah neil uh, it's only for weddings like okay. during our times the very famous uh, two very famous uh, venues were bps and caserwal in the south yeah. open as and in the north it was emerald lawn and alvamar okay okay yeah so this was the and uh, most of the prestigious dancers were held in those venues so mm. it's strictly 10 they you have to stop at 10 yes. for weddings i guess i guess people are not interested i mean they like they must be thinking we probably going to start at 9 and then 10 uh, no, o'clock is going to dance for example of what happened to me i did a wedding around 10 years back in donapal <clears throat> okay suddenly as i was doing the last set uh, the policeman came and he said uh, you have to stop the show and 
It was the last dance, la sorry, the last set. So I just went out. I didn't let the people know what was happening. I asked them uh, what it is. And fortunately, I knew the cop. He just uh, put his wireless on and he told his, uh, he told his boss, boss, everything has stopped. Okay. But the show within, continued. No. Within five minutes, we started and we finished the last set. And I was very thankful to the cop for doing okay. that. Oh, because good, it yeah. was someone's occasion, which is to be remembered. <clears throat> yeah, it's yeah. sad. So these are the instances as to where a compare has to think yeah. what to do. Yeah. Nowadays, what I find is uh, people just give up. Yeah. But there are still compares. What would you say? I mean, have you seen them perform... Is there any difference or they... There is, there is a lot of difference uh, from the compares of our time uh, to the compares of today. Right. Uh, not to criticize, but I'm always a positive critic. We as compares like should talk stuff. less, should talk <laughs> less and uh, let people enjoy themselves. Okay. Today, I find a lot of our own MCs, they talk uh, a little too much. Okay which the people are not uh, ready to listen to you. They come mm. for occasion. They want to enjoy the occasion and go back. Mm. Yeah. So there are the times has changed, uh, Kerry, but mm. uh, the spirit is there still. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the way you asked me, yes, I would like to go back because two years back, I went for a wedding and one of the MC asked me if I was coming on a wheelchair. To which I didn't understand. Okay. <laughs> okay. He said it again to me. Okay. Okay. Again, I kept quiet. The third time when he said it to me, I asked him, uh, gentlemen, what is this wheelchair you are talking about? Yeah. And he said to me, Lester, do you know a lot of people still ask about you? They want you and come back and you don't know how much we make <clears throat> out of uh, MSing today. Because okay. he said MSing has become a business. It's, that was that was going to be my next question to you. I mean, yeah. so uh, one of the things that we like to do on this platform is whoever our guests come in, at least uh, we try and see that, you know, we if maybe it may inspire the youth tomorrow, you know. Uh, because I, the good old days, we were we grew up where they said, Baba, you'll be the engineer or a doctor. Yes. And then today I tell my daughter, you know what? This We don't need to talk about engineering and doctors. There's so many different things. Follow True. your heart. True. So one of the things I always ask is, uh, you know, whoever our guests are, is what's the opportunity for the future? So for someone who's listening right now, being an MC, if he has a plan of being an MC for tomorrow, what's the future for that? Neil, there is a lot of scope. Goa is a place where we call it a happening place. There are, I can tell you, maybe 100 weddings a day which take place, very, very less MCs and very less bands. Okay. So people have to postpone their dates saying that the MC is not available or wow. the band is not available. Really? As an MC, I would always tell someone, be precise when you speak. Yeah. Speak to the point. Let the people enjoy the occasion. Hmm. And I would say, I mean, we, we talked about it. I just mentioned about being the master. It, it, it takes a certain amount of skill, right? I mean, for you to actually manage uh, a, a show. I mean, like we're talking about an eight-hour show. You have to, it's not just about coming there and saying, okay, this band is playing. You have to You have to be able to manage it. There are any situations where you remember the good old days where it was, a, it went out of hand and you had to bring it back, you know, and kind of manage that, that event? It happened to me where I was uh, comparing a dance in my own village. And at around uh, 2 o'clock early morning, the cops came and they said, uh, someone has called up and uh, you have to stop the dance. Okay. Before that, I just announced on the stage saying that we have a technical glitch. Okay. So we will, we will be back in 15 minutes. Okay. I went outside. People are still uh, not knowing what's happening. Went to the cops. I asked them who has complained. Uh, though I didn't have much contact with the ministers, I said, let me call this minister, call, let me call that minister. Okay. So they just waited for another 10 minutes and they vanished. Okay. I continued the dance till 6 o'clock in the morning. 
Okay. Wow. So, so the organizers came to me and they said, Lester, because you were from those years, you knew how to handle the situation. But when I came inside, people didn't know. They really thought that there was a technical glitch on the stage. It was just a glitch, yeah. So this, this were the instances where we used to see that the people were not affected. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it. I kudos to you. I mean, I, I can imagine because... I've I've myself have seen in front of me you know where events have gone the other way and really you need a strong person to to get it back on track because if you if you kind of just you know you can panic in these situations oh, yes. you can definitely panic and if you panic that's it the end your reputation is pretty much your reputation is at stake over here oh yes very much like yeah, it so. happened once when uh, uh I was comparing a dance and the big foot the very first dance yeah, at big foot yeah. lotoli mm. at around 6 o'clock there was a heavy shower now the decision was should we hold the dance or do we cancel okay i went to the organizers and i told them only one thing you cancel the show so that you don't get a less crowd you postpone the show where your dance will be house full yeah yeah and it happened we did okay. the show after another 20 25 days or so and it was one of the best dancers uh, go ahead right on top of a hill wow oh, that was good yeah. i mean it was a good decision to yeah, yeah, take yeah, yeah. Uh, given the so so value. there are times uh, neil which comes where the compare or the mc because he is the master at the end of the day Correct. he has to tell the organizers sometimes what to do what not to do hmm I wanted to get into also Lester is the theats our theats and uh, do you see that dying as well would you say no carry theater uh, i feel that uh, it has lived on and it will live on it will live on yes but it's uh, see the uh, the worry i have is uh, i think i've discussed this with neil and we had a little bit of that conversation with michelle right mm. uh, wherein like you have a certain audience for that and i've not seen the theater evolved like no theater has a different a different audience, audience altogether and uh, dance has a different audience yeah uh theater is more for the villagers uh, because they don't have any other entertainment than that mm. and thank god the theaters are still there because mm. now there are there's nothing happening in the villages exception of the fist where we go to the church yeah. and then uh, we come but back but still in the a, like margaon gomant vidya or rabindra uh, bhavan they still, they still have the arts yes. uh, there yes. right and and they they tour london and i think canada sometimes yes. depends and i'm very happy for all the theatrists who we call and the people they get to enjoy they get but to do, enjoy but don't you think like in the sense okay not everyone but now the youth right a lot of them have moved out of uh, goa and there might come a time where they might forget konkani or even stop going to theaters i don't know do you think that could happen or you, you uh, don't think it depends, on, it the depends on the parents for me for me i would always prefer my kids speaking in konkani because they should know where they come from they yeah, should know that's the what roots. i like uh, about i met his daughter and son and i mean i know uh, them very well and they they should know konkani. and i talk to them in konkani sometimes both my kids their first numbers were konkani numbers oh, which right. they learned when they were kids right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, i'm a proud uh, father even my wife encourages the kids to learn konkani yeah. because she also tells them always they have to know from where they come Yeah right yeah i think one should know their roots yeah and yeah because uh, let's talk about uh, when we say this we have houses in goa our yes. own house yes yeah if my kids try, don't know konkani and if they want to go abroad who should i leave the house for yeah it's yeah. better that i sell correct yeah, yeah. then uh, but uh, for my good luck my kids love goa okay, okay. but there are cases i think where people now the yes. kids have you know left their houses or sold their houses they have sold their houses they put their parents in the old age homes yeah which is, is very sad very thing. sad thing uh, like i always tell my wife zoya like if ever i go back i would have this project of uh, having 
a live entertainment for this old age homes yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if not a week maybe a fortnight yes mm. yes where when i go to this old age homes it's a sad story of some of the parents yeah yeah, yeah. they've yes. given us whatever we wanted but we we want to sell it and put them back in the old age homes they to need entertainment some also kids i mean children have deserted them in the sense uh, right i always say see entertainment has been a part of our life uh, neil and carrie yeah, yeah and it will always remain i think it's in the blood when it comes to music and uh, in singing. goa it is wine dine and dance <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true not so yakuza yes <laughs> have a shot get into the mood yeah yeah have your dinner enjoy the rest of the night but yeah. a g- good point there you know i thought of this uh, the, the charity you know thinking mm. about doing something for the old elderly folk mm. because i've seen it when i was young when we had this bikre john for mm. the we we'll learned everything from them yeah 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 if true. we are today what we are we we'll learned everything from them yeah. right right that's true like that's true. Uh, our dancers yeah yeah how they do, kept go our life yes they've kept go our life yes yes that's and true. i hope that the younger generation continues to do so and what about the konkani music in terms of uh, konkani music are there i can see some new talent out there yes there is yeah. there, there is, is coming out yes and 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 konkani music will never uh, die of uh, carry because uh, even the youngsters i see a lot of them now when i go to this uh, restaurants and all mm. i love when they sing the old numbers the konkani mm. numbers mm. and i feel i'm uh, 30 years younger when yeah, i listen yeah, to yeah. them <laughs> yeah and you have these new guys like say coming to the top of my head is like Sanyo and Fritz yes. Love where they've composed their own yes. songs and and they're also sending out messages right they're even their, Remo for that instance Remo yeah 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 he comes with a lot of wonderful konkani songs yeah that, those are the yester years in the sense like i'm talking about today yes, like the today, new talent yeah, new yeah talent. the new talent yes Remo of course will always be icon and we hope to have him on our show at some point and even Lorna as well Uh, but i'm yeah, saying in to, fact i was very fortunate to uh, to host a show with remo and lona yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, that, 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 that so is one it. of my biggest achievement yeah. i can say where yeah. for the first time remo, remo and uh, lona were seen on the stage together yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. no i think i think it's very interesting we just think, i'm just it's coming coming to my head right now for example i've got uh, i've got a lot of i got a, i will not say a lot i've got a selection of konkani music which is on apple you know i'm yeah. on I'm, i'm an iphone right now i've downloaded it and i listen to it it's part of my playlist but i i'm just thinking i mean we're going back a little bit to the theaters what we're talking yes. about i mean what has happened is the good old days you had music which was there on on uh, on uh, like dances and you heard it during the events and stuff like that and now there's an opportunity where it's it's on a platform like apple or you can download and hear it wherever you are in the world but do you think that the theater for example needs to move a little bit onto an online platform digital so it's format. yeah digital format so it's that it's already there on youtube right? theater is uh, today uh, for some of our theaterists they live on that uh, the day they go on the youtube or they go online yeah they will lose everything in life i mean how are they going to earn that that's no i'm question, just saying right? I, i'm so you know i'm just thinking it's 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 like your library you know you have your you have your your history like and for me for example i mean i'm very happy your kids speak konkani and uh, i need to go back and speak to my daughter about it but um i would love to have opened up something for her over here and showcased uh, you know the uh, like a like a like a history book as you may call it because i mean that's the reason why we're doing the show for Some me some memento like yeah, for yeah, me you know, I love, what i do at home you will be surprised I go on YouTube and uh, I uh, put on the shows of this John De Silva or that Selvi and you should see my kids laughing. Okay. Yeah, you have these uh, Yeah, because they're there. The videos are there. The, there are videos and they okay. are very catchy videos. Yeah. Okay. Funny All, skits. See, today I uh, I uh, for me I call our generation as the typewriter and uh, the new generation as the digital one. Yeah. yeah. and i always say one thing we never you know our time was spent with the friends with the family today it's become more of a digital age where you'll find most of the kids they're always on the phones yeah 
and they are looking only on the YouTubes with uh, some of the crap English rap singers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so the gener there's a lot of generation gap, but we as parents or yeah. we as goons have to teach our kids yeah. that yes, this is also life. and that's also like we have like a beautiful culture we have a culture where we come from and mm -hmm. this is the land where you were born mm -hmm. and we have to keep up to that culture otherwise that culture will die off yeah true. like the way the dances dances have uh, uh, vanished in goa yeah even there was this kale theater no kale theater is that still is also there. died uh, sort uh, no, of no it is still there it's still there yeah it's revived that, it's that being happens revived. in the marketplace Okay. Like they'll have a mini kind of theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, those yeah, yeah. everything yeah. is they carry exception of the dancers, the yeah. fish dancers. Like, uh, let me give you example. Sivai Mobor, they used to have Kurtori fish dancers were there. Sanste fish dancers, the Kolva fish dancers were there. Mm -hmm. Noi the farm. Noi the farm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Then uh, we and all these have gone, right? Everything has gone. Oof. Like yeah. there was a beautiful uh, dance in Vasco, which I used to MC called the Lotus Dance, which was held on twenty uh, fifth of December, where we used to take a parade in between the show on the full street and come back to the dance hall. Wow! So you know, this was uh, this was the days where people really enjoyed. Yeah. Even even carnival is not the same. Huh? I mean, it's Ca carnival. The... There are no dances, Kerry. Like only we, that samba square thing. We used thing. to have uh, yeah. on uh, the previous Saturday a dance called Fat Fat Saturday, which was yes, uh, yes, Fat which Saturday, was organized yeah. by uh, Varka Sports Club. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then there was the first day of dance either at uh, the Kadamba bus stand or on the Fatorda Stadium or BPS. And not the would have something. The second day was the Singhati dance. Okay. And the third, uh, either in Panjim it was the red and black, and in Salset it was, uh, I forgot the name, Jingle Bells or something. It was called. Uh, sorry, oh, that like was uh, Jingle Bells. No, no, it was for Christmas. It <laughs> yeah. was some carnival okay. music, music by Magic or Magic Music something. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. So those yeah. were uh, today. What you have is only the Samba Square. Yeah. Okay. Where you find, or if Mr. Vijay Sardesai organizes something in Fatorda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, of course the parades. That's yes. just it. Yeah. The yeah. dances are not there. Even no. parades also, I think, has changed. No. Would you say? It's I, more of commercialized rather than. Uh, where it's not done for the love of it. It's not done. It's. It's. it's there is a eighty percent change in whatever was happening in the eighties and nineties compared to now, Kerry. So sad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it is, it is sad, heart. and yeah. I would always, uh, you know, if I met the tourism minister, I, I would always say, go back to the culture what we had in the nineties, yeah. and you'll see what Goa is. Yeah. Correct. Another thing, you know, what I miss, we both of us have discussed. So uh, I remember the good old days when I was in Dubai. My mom and dad were in Dubai actually. So I remember I used to come on holidays, and then every time there used to be these small little uh, uh, get-togethers at people's house, but it was characterized by dance. You know that yes. was that was so. It was you would have the our moms and dads. You know, they'll a uh, couple of minutes into a conversation, somebody reaches out for a guitar. There's a little bit of yeah. singing. That's one thing I, it still happens. Yeah, and yeah, and it then, house yeah, yeah, and it then, happens. And this is what happens. I told you. It started all with the Portuguese when they used to have all these huge living rooms. Yeah, where they used to have a, they just used to wait for an occasion to have parties. Yeah, and all they would do is there would be one singer who would always have a guitar and yeah. entertain them, and yeah. uh, that was it. And then it was like, usually. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, I had a privilege to do a lot of uh, a lot of people. Uh, Used to ask me, Lester, we are having a party. Would you just announce something? I would gladly say yes because I could do it. Hmm. And uh, that's what uh, that's what it was. It was a passion. It was yeah. uh, nothing to do with uh, nothing to do with uh, commercializing it or nothing. It was just a passion. Yeah. And I, for me, I took it up as a passion. Okay. No, it's nice to but, see. Uh, you, yeah, but you know what? Uh, to start with, it was my parents who entered uh, first uh, encouraged me for this. After that, uh, my managing director, who I used to work for Coke, 
you always used to see my name coming on the newspapers almost every day and used to and uh, because i used to work for coke you used to see that we were one of the sponsors and he used to tell me let's to see that you please uh, announce about coke and all that <laughs> and another big influence to my life was my uncle his name is uncle simon okay his son was uh, uh, he had his own band called the civilian selvin okay he passed away unfortunately in an accident all right but uh, whenever he used to see my name on the newspaper he always used to say i'm very proud of you as my nephew Wow. you know this this little encouragement helped yeah. me doing better in life that's, yeah that's, true that's good that's good i appreciate it. Well, and this uh, is what i tell the youth go ahead you'll have a lot of talent use it hmm. yeah, yeah yeah no definitely but uh no i wanted also be, uh, we were running out of time a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but i wanted to uh, no what i like is the at least the traditions are still going on like you said the house parties like tomorrow if i go to lester's place mm. for some house party and even i went for his anniversary party and uh, people saw my videos of it and they said oh where is this dance where is this happening i said no yeah. it's my friend's anniversary party because there was nice konkani music yeah. people dancing it was it was really nice and second thing what uh, lester mentioned to me Uh, recently was you went for a uh, church mass service in deuswa which oh, is part yeah. of shishini oh yeah said anthony uh, and and i think amazing thing was that goans are still wearing formal they they lot of oh, dress yes. up formal for a service which is nice to see I was mean. it a feast mass or was it just no, normal no, this no. is uh, my wife is a follower of okay. saint anthony okay without saint anthony she she would prefer saint anthony first and me as a second priority <laughs> because for her saint lester friend, comes later yeah. my friend you don't stand anyway no, close to saint anthony example, saint lester no, 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 even an example <laughs> when my first child uh, first do- uh, our yeah. daughter was born you know in the hospital she was just saying santanton 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 <laughs> and then suddenly the nurse comes and tells me she is uh, she's calling out to you uh, i said uh, it's not no, me santanton <laughs> is a saint and she's a strong believer of santanton and that's okay. how carry i reached to your deosa church uh. which i had never been but it, it was a wonderful feeling okay yeah. okay and uh, to see even the youngsters uh, coming in a formal formal way like yeah, a long sleeve yeah. shirt and a formal pant not like the jeans or the t-shirt uh, what do you see Yeah. I th- I think yeah that's what I like uh, compared to like we've seen other nationalities. The villages in South Goa have not changed. That's mm, good. Yeah, I yeah. I love to Touch be in wood. the south. I love yeah. to be in the south. I think it's still uh, authentic in a way. Still yeah. I mean Goa. if anything if anyone listening of course that's the one thing I keep on saying you know. Because yeah. I think right now Easter Christmas we they, I, I've seen a lot of people I've dressed up a little bit maybe worn a tie and a shirt and a pant and then I felt really out of place in some kind of scenarios where they're wearing jeans and a t-shirt yes. so my only advice is you know try and keep that tradition a little bit alive if you all guys uh, you this know. is what I say if you all want to see what real Goa has come to the south yeah, yeah. hopefully yeah. yeah not because I belong to the south <laughs> We also belong to the south. <laughs> but Goa still, at least that eighty percent of Goanes thing is there in the south. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's. And let's... and I, and I wish you know, Kerry and Neil, that uh, I hope we go back to our traditions and start with our village dances. Yeah. And village shows. Yeah. Which used to the... be an entertainment for the young and old. Yes. Because today's pub and club culture it's only for the young yeah and the old uh, just watching the tv and watching their serials from 7 to 10 o'clock <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's so true. That's for true. me i would say during our days it was uh, more of this where the young and old were there for the dances yeah and i wish our government does that and uh, i wish our yeah. villages and the clubs start doing it once again which i would be very happy and proud of yeah no that's true. the reason why we've uh, started this podcast as well to just keep things going and let let people know that you know keep the traditions going 
keep it keep it alive you know? i wish so I that's wish. the idea yeah so uh, uh so yeah that's all the time we have uh, thank yeah. you so much lester thank you very and, much for inviting uh, me yes yes and, and if you, you if you all can put in a word with the government <laughs> <laughs> to keep our tradition uh, traditions uh, alive yeah government you heard it <laughs> I, would, i would be the happiest person <laughs> yeah no yeah. i mean so a lot of our episodes uh what we said is you know and what i've said at least more importantly is i always say the change starts from home yes. from from you as a single person yes. you know uh, very often you see people will point fingers but we don't really introspect and see what we are doing uh, one of the reasons again what when carrie and i were deciding to do the show was that we said you know I, for me it was personally i said you know what i would love to tell my go and brothers and sisters that listen if you want the change start from home start from your own uh, you That's know but yeah obviously charity begins at, at home. home yeah and yes, then indeed. and then automatically once my home and his home and your home changes it becomes a community so but small Neil, for this uh, I, uh, my humble request to the government of goa let's go back to the 90s <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah let's and let's even go i'm back ready and... to come back and start my shows again which yes. uh, which uh, i still cherish yeah. Yeah, yeah which i still cherish it's it's all there the information and i there. can tell you, you a lot of stories of this uh, events and comparing and mc days i know we are running out of time but uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll have a part 2 soon <laughs> i think we need to <laughs> in arabic we say inshallah 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 patra <laughs> episode <laughs> anyway guys uh, thank you so much for tuning in to uh, kiss me i'm going and as always you can find us on instagram uh, with kiss me i'm going as the handle and please like subscribe follow on youtube as well we you can find us there kiss me i'm going Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you Lester. Thank you, Thank you for Lester. being on the Thank show. Thank you Kerry. Thank Deo. you Neil. It was a pleasure to be with both of you. Yeah. Great. Deo bore karu and stay tuned. Cheers.